ओके हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस लर्न द एम सी क्यूब्स ऑफ बी ब्रीथिंग एंड एक्सचेंज ऑफ गैसेस लेट अस गेट स्टार्टेड द फर्स्ट वन इज इन इनहलेशन एंड एक्सलेशन आर अंडर द कंट्रोल ऑफ लंग्स नासो फैरिंग सेरिबेलम एंड मेडुला ब्लॉगेट द करेक्ट आंसर इज मेडुला ब्लॉगेटम Medulla oblongata is a part of the hind brain. Hind brain consists of three parts: pons, veroli, medulla oblongata, and cerebellum. And inhalation and exhalation are under the control of the medulla oblongata. The myoglobin of elephant seal. Elephant seal is a mammal, aquatic mammal, has more affinity for. Okay, the myoglobin of myoglobin. What is meant by myoglobin? The hemoglobin present in the muscles is called myoglobin. The myoglobin of elephant seal has more affinity for oxygen than my hemoglobin. In birds, exchange of gases takes place even during expiration due to the presence of. In birds, exchange of gases takes place even during expiration due to the presence of air sac. There are nine air sacs are associated with the birds' eight birds' uh, lungs. Okay, that is the speciality in the respiratory system of okay birds. Next, aerobic respiration. Okay, the respiration, cellular respiration is of two type: aerobic and anaerobic. Aerobic respiration gives more energy, six hundred eighty-six kilo calories of energy. Spiders and scorpions perform aerial respiration through. Okay, the respiratory organs in spiders and scorpions. Okay, the answer is okay, scorpion. The respiratory organs are book lungs. Anaerobic respiration causes incomplete breakdown of organic molecules with yield of with yield of more energy. Complete breakdown of organic molecules with uh, take place in the absence of oxygen. Incomplete breakdown of molecules with the with less yield of energy. The correct answer is incomplete breakdown. Complete breakdown of organic molecule takes place in aerobic, but here they ask anaerobic. The respiratory organs of larva of amphibians are gills. Gills are also called. Can you tell me? Gills are also called branchiae. Respiration through gills is called branchial respiration or gill respiration or aquatic respiration. The chemical breakdown of nutrient that occurs inside the living cells of human beings is called. The chemical breakdown of nutrient that occurs inside the living cells of humans is called. the chemical breakdown of nutrients that occurs inside the living cells of humans is called cellular respiration cellular respiration is of two type aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration the ninth one is the part of the nasal chamber with hair with hair and sebaceous glands are also present which prevents the entry of dust particles is the answer is vestibular part vestibular part is one of the part. nasal chamber has nasal chamber has three parts one is okay i told you one trick v r o v r o v vestibular part r respiratory part o olfactory part in these three which has hair vestibular part respiratory part has okay bones uh, called conche okay respiratory part helps in okay conditioning of the temperature of the inhaled air olfactory part is involved in okay sensing the smell it has olfactory epithelium which has olfactory receptors which part of the nasal chamber is involved in conditioning the temperature of okay inhaled air i have explained you that i told you this point there respiratory part is involved in conditioning the temperature like air conditioner ac name the three Okay, it is also important to mark the question. What are conchae? Name the three twisted bony plates present in the respiratory part of the nasal chamber. Name the three thin twisted bony plates present in the respiratory part of the nasal chamber. What are they? Conchae, superior concha, middle concha, inferior concha. The pair of The pair of internal nostrils located. The pair of internal nostrils is located above the soft palate. If you observe the diagram, if you see the previous videos which I have uploaded, okay, you can find the answer. The pharynx opens into larynx through glottis. Pharynx opens into uh, pharynx opens into trachea through 
glottis here two larynx are given the correct answer is glottis the leaf like cartilaginous flap which prevents the entry of food into larynx the answer is epiglottis can you tell me what type of cartilage is present in the epiglottis the answer is elastic cartilage the number of cartilages supporting the wall of the larynx is the number of cartilages supporting the wall of the larynx also called voice box sound box answer is 9 what are the unpaired cartilages supporting the wall of the larynx the unpaired cartilages supporting the wall of the larynx are thyroid cricoid epiglottis thyroid cricoid epiglottis the windpipe is a straight tube extending up to mid thoracic cavity wind cap windpipe is a straight tube extending up to mid thoracic cavity a cartilaginous box which helps in sound production in humans is a cartilaginous box which helps in sound production in humans is larynx a cartilaginous box which helps in sound production in humans is larynx Okay, next one the yellow elastic fibers which connect the thyroid and erythroid cartilages are true vocal cords true vocal cords adam's apple okay, male human beings have adam's apple adam's apple is a mid ventral prominence protrusion or prominence of the thyroid cartilage thyroid cartilage